Welcome to the audio visual training program of RMTC Mumbai. First of all, I would like to thankful to those who have subscribed to our YouTube video channel. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube video channel till now, then please subscribe and also click on the bell icon to get notification of our upcoming new videos. Thank you. Underscore is the process of joining two or more metallic items of a high melting point together by melting an alloy of two fusible metals of a low melting point. Options are A. Welding B. Crimping C. Soldering D. Desoldering The correct answer is soldering. Underscore is an electrical device which is used for melting an alloy of two fusible metals of a low melting point for joining two or more metallic items of a high melting point. Options are A. Thermocouple B. Soldering iron C. Solder D. Flux The correct answer is soldering iron. Underscore is an alloy of two fusible metals of a low melting point which is used for joining two or more metallic items of a high melting point. Options are A. Thermocouple B. Soldering iron C. Solder D. Flux The correct answer is solder. What is required to be used for removing any dust or rust from the surface of metallic items before soldering? Options are A. Flux B. Crimping tool C. Soldering iron D. The soldering pump The correct answer is flux. Rosine is used as a flux in the process of soldering for acting as a underscore. Options are A. Purifying agent B. Cleaning agent C. Flowing agent D. All of these The correct answer is all of these. Underscore is the process of separating the connection of two or more metallic items by melting and removing solder from their joint. Options are A. Welding B. Crimping C. Soldering D. Desoldering The correct answer is desoldering. Underscore is a mechanical suction device which is used for separating the connection of two or more metallic items by sucking the melted solder from their joint. Options are A. The soldering pump B. The soldering wick C. Soldering gun D. Soldering iron The correct answer is the soldering pump. Underscore is a braided copper wire coated with rosine flux which is used for removing melted solder from the joint of two or more metallic items. Options are A. The soldering pump B. The soldering wick C. Soldering gun D. Soldering iron The correct answer is the soldering wick. Underscore is the process of joining two metallic or non-metallic ductile, pliable, bendable materials by deforming, buckling, bending either one or both of them to hold the other. Options are A. Welding B. Trimping C. Soldering D. The soldering The correct answer is crimping. Underscore is the process of joining two similar metallic items by melting and fusing their surfaces. Options are A. Welding B. Crimping C. Soldering D. The soldering The correct answer is welding. PCB means underscore. Options are A. Printed circuit board B. Parallel circuit board C. Practical circuit board D. Personal computer board The correct answer is printed circuit board. Which experiment board uses different types and sizes of tags and lugs for performing research and development experiments? Options are A. Practical circuit board B. Printed circuit board C. Bread board D. Lug board The correct answer is lug board. Which solderless board is used in the research and development lab for performing different experiments? Options are A. Practical circuit board B. Printed circuit board C. Bread board D. Lug board The correct answer is bread board. 
Which of the following safety precautions should be observed while soldering? Options are A. Never sit under the fan during soldering to avoid the problem of dry solder or cold joint. B. Always clean the leaves of all components and wires with the help of blade or knife. C. Position the work so that the gravity tends to keep the solder where it is required. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following safety precautions should be observed while soldering? Options are A. Always use the right type of soldering iron according to the requirement of soldering. B. Always put the soldering iron on its stand to dissipate the excess heat when it is not in use. C. Keep the main cord of soldering iron away from its heated tip to avoid any damage to the main cord. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following safety precautions should be observed while soldering? Options are A. Do not overheat any component or PCB while soldering to avoid any damage due to excess heat. B. Do not vibrate component or PCB while soldering to avoid the problem of dry solder or cold joint. C. Do not use excess solder to avoid the problem of solder bridge between two copper foil tracks. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following tips and tricks should be used while assembling any electronic circuit? Options are A. The soldering iron tip must be tinned to transfer heat many times faster than an untinned soldering iron tip. B. Always use heatsink for the installation of transistors and integrated circuits. C. Always use IC sockets for the installation of integrated circuits. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which of the following tips and tricks should be used while assembling any electronic circuit? Options are A. Create different groups of all components and install all components in a group while sequence one by one. B. Small size components should be soldered first before soldering large size components. C. Install all static sensitive components only after installation of the components which generate static energy. D. All of these. The correct answer is all of these. Which soldering iron is suitable for the domestic electronics work related with small transistors and integrated circuits? Options are A 10 watts to 25 watts soldering iron B 35 watts to 100 watts soldering iron C 250 watts to 500 watts soldering iron D Any of these The correct answer is 10 watts to 25 watts soldering iron which soldering iron is suitable for the industrial electronics work related with high power transistors and thyristors? Options are A 10 watts to 25 watts soldering iron B 35 watts to 100 watts soldering iron C 250 watts to 500 watts soldering iron D Any of these The correct answer is 35 watts to 100 watts soldering iron which soldering iron is suitable for the heavy-duty electrical work related with cables or for working in the open air? Options are A 10 watts to 25 watts soldering iron B 35 watts to 100 watts soldering iron C 250 watts to 500 watts soldering iron D Any of these The correct answer is 250 watts to 500 watts soldering iron which soldering process requires temperature below 400 degrees Celsius, 752 degree Fahrenheit for melting solder? Options are A. Soft soldering process B. Hard soldering process C. Medium soldering process D. None of these. The correct answer is soft soldering process. Which soldering process requires temperature above 450 degrees Celsius, 840 degree Fahrenheit for melting solder? Options are A. Soft soldering process B. Hard soldering process C. 
medium soldering process d none of these the correct answer is hard soldering process which soldering process requires soldering iron for melting solder options are a soft soldering process b hard soldering process c medium soldering process d none of these the correct answer is soft soldering process which soldering process requires high temperature torch or furnace for melting solder options are a soft soldering process b hard soldering process c medium soldering process d none of these the correct answer is hard soldering process which of the following alloy is used as a soft solder options are a alloy of tin and lead b alloy of tin and antimony c alloy of zinc and copper d none of these the correct answer is alloy of tin and lead which of the following alloy cannot be used as a hard solder options are a alloy of tin and lead b alloy of tin and antimony c alloy of zinc and copper d none of these the correct answer is alloy of tin and lead which of the following alloy is used as a brazing solder options are a alloy of tin and lead b alloy of tin and antimony c alloy of zinc and copper d none of these the correct answer is alloy of tin and antimony which of the following alloy is used as a silver solder options are a alloy of tin and lead b alloy of tin and antimony c alloy of zinc and copper d none of these the correct answer is alloy of zinc and copper which material is important for a soft solder options are a zinc material b lead material c silver material d platinum material the correct answer is lead material which material is important for a hard solder options are a zinc material b lead material c silver material d platinum material the correct answer is silver material which of the following solder is used for electronics work options are a 40% tin and 60% lead b 50% tin and 50% lead c 60% tin and 40% lead d none of these the correct answer is 60% tin and 40% lead which of the following solder is used for plumbing work options are a 40% tin and 60% lead b 50% tin and 50% lead c 60% tin and 40% lead d none of these the correct answer is 50% tin and 50% lead which of the following solder is used for sheet metal work options are a 40% tin and 60% lead b 50% tin and 50% lead c 60% tin and 40% lead d none of these the correct answer is 40% tin and 60% lead dear friends if you like our video then please click on the like icon and also write your comments in the comment box according to your valuable suggestion we will try our best to provide you better video presentation thank you